Great, thank you. Well, hi everyone, and um, as you are probably aware, February is uh, National Heart Month, and so we thought we would begin the month by talking about how to have a healthy heart, since this is still our country's number one um, biggest killer is heart disease, um, and the incidence um, these these numbers are kind of daunting: four hundred twenty-five thousand deaths a year. That's one out of every six deaths is due to heart disease. Over a million folks have new and recurring coronary artery issues, 34% of whom die. 80 million adults have one or more types of cardiovascular disease, and every 25 seconds an American suffers a coronary event. 12 million people are on cholesterol-lowering drugs, and, um, and it's very interesting, Steve told me that uh, a number of years ago, Finland had the highest rate of heart disease in the world. And he said they just as a country made it a national priority, changing their diets and, and teaching people how to be more fit. And they lowered their rate an astonishing 80%. And so um, I'd like to put that in there because it shows that we all can get better. Um, symptoms of heart disease for men are kind of um, the traditional ones we think about, chest pain alone or when combined with sweating, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, pain that spreads from the chest to the neck, to the jaw or the arms, dizziness, lightheadedness, faster or regular heartbeat, loss of consciousness. Um, but in women, it's a little less specific. It's fatigue, difficulty sleeping, anxiety, um, maybe difficulty breathing, indigestion. Um, and if you suspect you're having a heart attack, you've probably heard the commercials to chew an aspirin and then call uh, 911. But there's one more common symptom of heart attack in both men and women, and that is sudden death, a heck of a first symptom when um, for heart disease. And so um, I, I wanted, um, I invited Mike Coogan to join us because he um, has quite a dramatic history of heart disease in his family and he has quite a wonderful story because he got connected with Shackley about 38 years ago because of Gary who just um, told a little bit about their story. So Mike, would you go ahead and share your story a little bit and you tell me when you want the next slide. Okay, uh, and thanks for having me on tonight. This is such an important topic and uh, Shackley has been a blessing in our lives in so many ways and this shows the two grandchildren we have right now, uh, sitting on my lap having a ball, and I just I, I just can't imagine uh, five generations without any any male in the family living to see grandchildren. Hmm. And my my father's dad died when he was three years old, and oh. that little boy on my left is just turning three uh, this this coming weekend. Oh. So, you know, it's. Um, it, it, it's it's an amazing it's an amazing journey we go through here and uh, a sudden death um, when I went to the hospital and I did take I did take aspirin before I went by the way hmm. uh, and chewed on that and <laughs> went to the hospital uh, and wound up in a journey in and out of intensive care a number of times but the first run into the hospital. Uh, after the first night, I, I was in. We can go on to the next slide. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I was in the. Uh, I, I was in the. Uh, I was in the emergency room, and the doctor did make the comment that I'd had a good uh, heart attack, and that yeah, it didn't it didn't kill me. Um, oh, that that made it a good heart attack. <laughs> yeah, that, and I thought, well, that that, that that's uh, that, that's a good way to that's a good way to put it. And uh, uh, he asked a series of questions, like a good doctor would ask, and uh, asked me, you know, what what things I was taking. And I started off with the list on Shackley, and I could, you know, just see that uh, he was really kind of impressed. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, contrary to what we sometimes think, this was a very open-minded. Uh, uh, 
uh, emergency room physician. And, uh, you know, throughout everything, I, I eventually wound up having six heart ablation surgeries, and each one of them averaged about six and a half hours each. And the last one finally uh, corrected things. I, for the first time in, in 15 years, I went into a sinus rhythm, and that was really kind of cool. And so it's been about a year and a half since that happened. But all the way along in this journey, uh, you know, my blood pressure was excellent. Oxygen utilization was right up there. And, and, and that, that, that morning, uh, after the admitting, being admitted to the hospital, I, I was on the bed and there were two friends of mine, both of them physicians in the room. We we're having a conversation and all of a sudden I heard somebody holler and I looked up at the monitor and I flatlined. Now, you know, if you've got a screen in front of you, and I'm sure you do right now, imagine you see a blue line go across her where before you'd been watching your heart kind of jump around. And um, that catches your attention. And just like in the movies, you know, they hit me with the paddles and hollered clear and hit again and oh, you gee. fly off the table. I mean, I thought I, thought oh. I was levitating and it was um, – it was very painful, and I found out later that they didn't have time to put the gel on. So it's it's quite a jolt. And when they holler clear, by the way, it's so that none of the nurses or medical staff is hanging on to the side of the hospital bed uh, because they could be electrocuted. Or, oh, for uh, heaven's and, sake. Uh, oh, good. Anyway, um, uh, that was – actually, it was a nurse, at a former student of mine. I found out two years later that it saved my life. But – um, that, that's, uh. that, that, that's kind of a, that's when you have that moment, that's kind of, you know, kind of, kind of interesting. Mm. Uh, and in the journey, I was always told your heart is strong. You got this oxygen thing going for you. Mm. Um, and then you go into, you know, cardiac rehab and, uh, and of course I had to start that over six times. You know, I'd start three minutes the first time in cardiac rehab and, uh, changing, you know, change. You just took red meat out of the diet, almost 99.9 percent, mm -hmm. and eat more veggies and what have you. I got on the 180 program, and uh, uh, you know, the cinch. You know, in the morning I have that smoothie. At lunchtime, have uh, uh, a bar and a banana and some some nuts. And that's it. And, mm. and, uh, you know, another, you know, sometimes I sneak in another smoothie, you know, you can have, you can have a couple of those a day, no problem. Mm. And, and took off, uh, took off, oh, 20 to 22 pounds, dropped, uh, two belt sizes. And, and, you know, you throw in exercise, started working out. And since the successful oblation, um, I had not run since I was in high school playing football the year 1959, and about a month ago, I thought, I'm going to see if I can run. And oh, I ran gosh. a little bit, and then I ran around the track a couple of days later, and then, uh, mm. uh, this is an indoor track, but, uh, you know, and, and, and this, this is Shackley, and along the way, um, you know, every, every, every doctor was very, that I had, because I fired my first cardiologist. You, you can do that, mm. okay? Mm. Um you you can get rid of a doctor if you don't think that they're up to speed. And the one I had was not up to speed. And and this is too you know this stuff is important. And with with you know with with the 180 uh, taking off the, the the weight, I'm I'm they cut my statin stuff down to half. I think I'm going to be taken off it completely when I when I have my next check in. So mm. yeah, that we can. That that's that's wow. That's, well, I'm not sure. well, I well I I want wanted to have you share your story because you'd been on Shackley what 38 years did you say mm -hmm. right. and um and we know that all these wonderful numbers here the oxygenation the the blood pressure the strength of your heart that you believe that that played a role in in, in how healthy you've been able uh, to be 
while you're going through this uh, electrical issue with the heart. Um, so uh, let's cover a, a few of those products. I want to give you a, a, a little bit more information about heart disease. It's an inflammatory disease, um, as are most diseases. Cancer is too. Um, every culture that adopts our Western diet eventually develops all our Western diseases, and that is a quote from Michael Pollan in Defense of Food. And so your cutting out red meat was a very good place to begin, Mike, um, because what causes inflammation is um, insulin, which is produced whenever we eat refined carbohydrates, especially sugar, but also breads and pastas and all that starchy stuff. Obesity causes inflammation and high fat foods. Now the pharmaceutical and medical industry have for a long time now focused on cholesterol. There's 34% of people who are over 45 are on statin drugs. 86% of people over the age of 65 are on statin drugs. And there are 102 million people who have high cholesterol levels. You want your HDL, the good cholesterol, to be over 45. And you want your bad cholesterol, the low density lipoproteins, to be under 100. Uh, and interesting on that, um, I was adopted, so I don't know anything about my health history. But um, I started taking uh, larger amounts of the Omega Guard starting about uh, three years ago, I'm thinking. And the last time I had my um, blood levels checked and the, the HDL was 107. That's really high. Now, I mentioned that because the um, I found this um, an article about this book. Just came in this week on Bottom Line. If any of you know that publication, I really like that publication. Bottom Line Personal. It's kind of a Reader's Digest of um, uh, business uh, articles. And Johnny Bowden wrote a book called The Great Cholesterol Myth: Why Lowering Your Cholesterol Won't Prevent Heart Disease and the Statin-Free Plan That Will. And he quotes the Harvard Nurses Health Study, which was, you know, thousands of people. And they found that 82% of heart attacks and other what they called coronary events were linked to smoking and excessive alcohol consumption and obesity and lack of exercise, poor diet, but not elevated cholesterol. And they looked at um, the bad cholesterol, the low-density lipoprotein, LDL cholesterol, and they found that um, there are different patterns. There's two different patterns to that, and this is how I came to take um, five to six of the Omega Guard a day, as I was told that I had the sticky pattern, that pattern B, which is prone to oxidizing into plaque. And it, but um, this research study that he, he that this Johnny Bowden um, quoted said that the pattern B people are the only ones who need a statin and that indeed it can save their life, but the pattern A people don't. And what statin drugs do is they stabilize plaque, they thin the blood, and so does omega-3 fatty acids, and so does garlic, and so does vitamin E, by the way. And they are anti-inflammatory, and so are omega-3 fatty acids, and GLA, and vitamin C. Uh, and the quote was, overall, statins do much for primary prevention. Uh, don't, I'm sorry. Don't do much for primary prevention, which is preventing a heart attack in patients who don't have existing heart disease. So it, they've never been shown to be beneficial for folks until after they have had a heart attack. Then they have been shown to be helpful. So the author says if you're generally healthy and your only symptom is high cholesterol, you probably don't need a statin or any other cholesterol-lowering drug. What you need is a healthy diet and a program. Um, now, of all the threats to heart disease from the diet, there is kind of a myth that it's all about fats. And actually, the research shows that refined carbohydrates, the sugar and the bread and the carby, snacky, chippy stuff, 
is much greater of a threat to heart disease than fats are. And one of the studies was done, the Harvard study, comparing um, the progression of heart disease in postmenopausal women. And women who ate more saturated fat had less heart disease progression than those who ate more refined carbohydrates, which were probably lower in calories, but they were much worse. Um, another study said the risk for heart attack was higher in patients who replaced saturated fat with refined carbohydrates. And that's what everybody was doing back in the 80s and the 90s when when it became very popular to uh, eliminate fat and everybody substituted for all of these carbohydrates and the, the reason is sugar is particularly bad because it increases inflammation, insulin levels and blood pressure. It elevates triglycerides which are those sticky things in your bloodstream and those are all main heart disease risk factors. So um, what then is the most important thing that we can all do to lower our risk factors for heart disease and at the top of the list is maintaining ideal weight because obesity causes the most serious risk for heart disease. Elevated triglycerides, elevated blood sugar, elevated total cholesterol, elevated LDL and lower HDL plus inflammation. And so the Shackley 180 program, which was just introduced this month, is an amazing program and people have had terrific results as Mike just told you when he lost 20 pounds on it. And um, one of the reasons is that it contains an amino acid called leucine. It's in the smoothies and it's in the bars and the body uses that to build and repair muscle. And that's the key to weight loss. I, I, I didn't realize that when people lose weight, 50% of the weight that they lose is from muscle. And, and a muscle, a pound of muscle burns 50 calories a day, a pound of fat burns two. And so when you lose your muscle, you lose serious calorie burning power. And then the program also has something called EGCG. It's a component in green tea and the body uses that to burn fat. That's in the uh, metabolic boost and it's in um, this wonderful energy tea that's a part of the program. And then the metabolic boost uh, itself increases the body's ability to burn calories by 30% and you take one of those with each meal and that is a totally natural it has a banana leaf extract in it makes the the cells more receptive to insulin to help prevent insulin resistance and then they use only safe natural flavorings and um, and sweeteners and I mention that because many many diet products if you look carefully at the label you're going to see saccharides and aspartame and sucralose and these are really very dangerous substances as Shackley would never consider using them and unless you you feel like you can be an expert at label reading it is such a reassurance I think to people to to use any product that Shackley makes because of their philosophy of living in harmony with nature, of always being safe, always works and always green. No artificial anything. Um, also contains chromium and vanadium, but not belief extract that helps with uh, stabilizing your blood sugar and one of what one of the wonderful side effects of that is that you don't have these cravings, these horrible cravings for sugar and carbs and snacks and bread and all that stuff. Now the, um, the Shackley Turnaround Kit, which is a two meal replacement a day, has um, smoothies, it has meal in a bar, it has snack bars, it has the energy tea mix, the metabolic boost, and it has all these amazing um, resources available to people on the web from meal planning to um, uh, mobile apps and online support groups and uh, online exercise instruction that all comes along with it. Plus, the people have the option of getting their entire month 
program free by referring three friends. I want to point out that this connection between obesity and, and even just overweight and heart disease is a really important one to make. Besides the ones we've just mentioned about how obesity increases inflammation and, and triglycerides and so on, the heart also if you think about it, is the one muscle in the body that never rests. It, it is pumping blood every second of every day for your entire life to every corner of the body, bringing oxygen and nutrients to every cell. The bigger your body becomes, the harder that heart has to work. And eventually, the walls of the heart will become thicker and and then they get weak and eventually they fail and that could cause a lot of congestive heart failure. Um, and remember that obesity damages all the metabolic pathways that we rely on to control blood pressure and blood sugar and triglycerides and cholesterol and the, the good and the bad cholesterol balance and inflammation. But the good news is that all of it is completely reversible. So let's look at how we can do that. That's with the Shackley 180 program. But in addition, I want to mention a couple of other products that Shackley makes that are terrific. Um, the the Shackley fish oil is the omega-3 fatty acids. And I'll tell you, I, um, I personally would be very hard pressed if I didn't have this option of the Shackley Omega Guard, I, I don't really know what fish oil I would trust, knowing what little regulation there is in the industry and how common it is for fish oil to contain PCBs, dioxin, um, mercury, and heavy metals. And you know, just uh, two years ago, there was a lawsuit brought against eight major brands of omega-3 fatty acids of fish oil for failure to disclose that they had PCBs in it. And it, it wasn't, um, the, the suit wasn't brought by the Food and Drug Administration, who don't have enough regulators to even check all that. It was brought by a consumer group in California where they have very strict laws that if you produce a product that has anything in it that could be dangerous and hazardous to somebody's health, you must reveal it on the label, and none of them did. Um, and fish oil, these omega-3 fatty acids do wonderful, wonderful things in your body. They make red blood cells slippery. That reduces your risk of plaque and blood clots. It reduces inflammation, it lowers triglycerides, it lowers blood pressure, and it raises the good cholesterol and lowers the bad. And I love this formulation because it's an ultra-pure pharmaceutical grade, full spectrum of seven omega-3 uh, omega fatty acids. Um, and not only does it re reduce your risk for heart disease and stroke, but it has a lot of other wonderful benefits from eczema to colitis, arthritis, all, all the things that you want to reduce inflammation with. It is very beneficial for including the brain and your eyes and your joints and your memory, your depression. It's wonderful. Um, if you've never had a heart attack, no family history of heart disease, 500 milligrams uh, a day is perfect, and that's what you get in the Vitalizer, which I'll show you in a second. Um, if you have had um, some heart issues, then 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams is recommended. So you want to add three to six of those omega guards a day. That's what I do. Um, the, the next risk, risk factor I want to talk to you about is um, the oxidation of cholesterol. Cholesterol in and of itself is not dangerous. It's when it gets oxidized. And this is where the, what nature has given us, these wonderful natural nutrients that are natural antioxidants. The problem is that we don't eat the foods that they're in. Those antioxidants are not in meat, they're not in dairy, they're not in cookies, they're in the, the natural, wonderful plants and fruits and vegetables that grow out of the earth. That's what the majority of our diet should be coming from. Six to nine vegetables a day would be a really good thing to aim for. Um, and so, uh, Eat, eat what you can, try to get those six to nine in, but if not, there's a whole wonderful uh, group of products that Shackley makes, Vita C, Vita E, 
carotamax, flavonoids, they all contain these, um, these substances, these antioxidants that help prevent oxidation. Um, but you can also get them in this very convenient form of the vitalizer strips. This is a, a wonderful 30-day supply of uh, these vitamin strips that have six tablets on each strip, and they contain 26 antioxidants in every one of those daily strips. Plus, they added just a couple years ago this triple berry blend. Oh my gosh, they were so excited about this because they added more antioxidants, including the polyphenols, which is the, the newest addition to antioxidants that we have discovered that nature has had all this time. And it's 77 times more of these polyphenols than you know juice products that you will see. So it's a, it's a really nice addition. Um, but uh, Carotamax and Flavomax, you can buy, buy separately. Um, some are the fat-soluble antioxidants, the others the water-soluble. Or um, what many folks do, because they want to have that, um, that Shackley, uh, the, the Shackley 180 shakes in the morning is you can get what's called the Shackley 180 Lean and Healthy Kit and that allows you to have Vitalizer, um, that strip I just showed you, plus a, a, a wonderful healthy smoothie in the morning and that gets you all those antioxidants plus helps you work on your weight. Um, and remember this also, two-thirds of the cholesterol in your blood is produced by your own body. And the question is, well, what triggers your liver to produce that cholesterol? And saturated fats and trans fats, that is one of the triggers. Um, this is why fried foods are so dangerous. And lack of dietary fiber, that, that also uh, contributes. But insulin is a big one. And that happens when we eat all these sweets and baked goods and high glycemic foods. And that's uh, and and now we understand that these things are actually an addiction, and they know that in the brain where we get addicted to those things is the same place in the brain where we get addicted to cocaine and opiates. And so this is why it's so important to um, to have some help with getting rid of those cravings, and that's what the metabolic boost does. That's what, and I like to add B complex to that as well. So reducing cholesterol is fine, but I kind of like the idea of doing it naturally. Um, have daily uh, cardiovascular exercise. I know Gary, you've talked about how you do that now every day. Mike, you're doing that, um, and Gary, I guess we didn't mention it here, but you dropped 27 pounds just last spring over, what, three yeah, months, did we decide? Yeah, and I uh, also have heart disease. Um, oh. my, younger my younger brother died at age 57, and, uh, oh. and we didn't have a clue. And uh, I had an atherectomy three weeks after my brother died, which means I woke up in the morning with the ops, with the, just the normal pressure in the chest. And uh, if Faye were here telling the story, she would take about two minutes and, and tell how Mike Coogan, uh, probably saved my life because Faye was very familiar with uh, Mike's experience because we've talked to, to him about it many times. Well, I I was in the waiting because they had gone in and checked me and uh, they were deciding what to do. It was Faye's decision. She pulled the trigger and she thought about Mike and uh, what they how they had talked and what Mike had learned and she decided not to have a uh, a bypass. And because they said it would fail, and, and right, right now I'm on a, a plant-based diet because um, I want to know my grandson when he's in high school. So I have to I have to be 93 years old to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll do it. <laughs> but uh, but I'm, I, I've got a book in my hands that I've I've read and I I keep I don't put it away because I read about a chapter every other day uh, on my highlights. And he says, all told, 15% of by bypass surgeries fail within the first three months. Within, I within, did not know within that. Ten, within 10 years, 50% of bypass grafts have plugged up. Oh, jeez. I mean, so uh, basically, oh. uh, Mike, uh, someone saved his life, and he just, uh, mm. he, he's that way. You know, he just passed it on to me. Pay it forward. <laughs> Pay it forward. Exactly right. So... Um, so you guys are just walking testaments to this because uh, those, all those shakes and smoothies, those are 
Uh, those are soy-based from non-genetically modified soy. All those things are helping us have good, healthy cholesterols. And Cholesterol Reduction Complex is a really nice product. It contains 2,000 milligrams of stanols and sterols from plants, and they're very similar in chemical structure to cholesterol. So when you have one or one of these uh, or two of these tablets at, uh, before a meal, then they will line the, um, your intestines and help prevent the absorption of cholesterol. So they're, they're really quite effective. Um, I have concerns about the side effects of statin drugs because they block an enzyme that, um, that produces cholesterol when your insulin levels are high, that's a good thing, but they also block coenzyme Q10, which is essential for your heart. It's probably one of the reasons you two both have such strong hearts is because that's one of the things that CoQ10 does, and the Shackley CoQ10 product is excellent. Um, the uh, most serious effect of side, of, uh, side effect of statins is muscle pain and weakness, because that's an indication that um, of kidney issues, and if ignored, it can cause kidney failure. So this is no simple thing, making the decision to go on those drugs. And here is the CoQ Heart product that um, Gary and Mike take. It reduces the risk for congestive heart failure. Every cell in your body requires it for energy, but especially the heart and especially the brain. Um, statin users especially should never take a statin drug without taking a CoQ Heart to replace uh, the CoQ that is blocked by the statin drug. Um, the new version of that came out last year. It's a triple strength, same price, um, really an excellent product, plus resveratrol, which is a, a powerful antioxidant. Um, People who um, who should take CoQ are certainly people on statin drugs, but people who may have Alzheimer's in their family uh, because it improves brain oxygen utilization. Uh, people with congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, it really is good at helping to um, stabilize blood pressure. Um, and Vivix, I, I was the last one we're going to end with because it. Uh, it just does all kinds of good things for your heart. It slows the aging process inside your cells. It inhibits the liver enzymes that produces cholesterol. It decreases insulin resistance and it lowers triglycerides. It raises the good stuff. It lowers the bad stuff. It lowers blood pressure. It lowers blood sugar. It's really an amazing product. So that's there's the collection for your heart, antioxidants in the diet, vitalizer, omega-3 fatty acids in the diet, um, in vitalizer and omega guard, CoQ, Vivix, exercise, and a healthy weight. And that's a wrap, Gary. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good hey, job, can I, Mike. Can I, can I throw out just one little commercial? Sure, here? sure. Uh, sure. Um, for, for anyone out there uh, who has or has a family member, uh, wherein there's an arrhythmia problem, uh, please, you know, uh, cardiologists are great, but electrophysiologists, there are cardiologists who go on for further training in electrophysiology. They are the physician that you, that you want to get to see if, if, if there's an arrhythmia problem. And uh, it's, it's you know it's critical. They're called electro electrophysicists. Electrophysiologists. They are, they, they are uh -huh. cardiologists who go on for two three more years of training, and they're in, a, in effect the, they're 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 the specialists in the in, in the electrical system of the heart, and that little heart you know, if you weigh 150 pounds or 450 pounds, the heart's the same size, and that heart during the course of our lifetime, pumps about 50 million gallons Gosh. of blood. Oh, my God. You know, and you can look at a good-sized swimming pool and say, well, gee, there are 20, 30, 40,000 gallons in there. Uh, and so that, 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 that heart is really quite a muscle. Hmm. And you do the exercise and, 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 and the 180 and, and, and get, to the right, get to the right person. Uh, if uh, again, if anyone in the family has got an arrhythmia mm -hmm. problem, you want to yeah. get to an e -phys yeah. Thank you. That's good, yeah. Mike. Any uh, questions there's, over there, Gary? Uh, there's one question. What percentage of weight loss did you say is on a diet without leucine? 
Oh, um, they, it's almost 50% of the weight that is lost comes from muscle. And that's why it's so frustrating, and that's why the, the weight comes back on. Okay. Because uh, a pound of, pound of muscle burns 50 uh, calories a day. Uh, hmm. And this, Barb, will this be available for review again? Sure. Is, It'll is, be is there a, any, is there any Bob's way we could get in Bob's file? Usually yeah. that's where, where it ends up, right? In mm -hmm. your, right. your presentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Okie doke, uh, good stuff and important stuff, like Mike said, without question. Uh, and from my, uh, from my view, it's, there's, there's, I do everything that you were talking about. Take loads of stuff. It's good for your PV, too. And it's good for your body. <laughs> <stuff. laughs> well, they're wonderful products, and, and you two are walking testament how well they work. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and that's that's good for people to see because I don't know how much the doctors talk to them about us, but I'm a big advocate for prevention, and I think these are the best things you can yeah. do. Yep, great. Thanks. Anyway, well, great. hey, thanks, folks. Come on. Uh, come next week. Bring someone with you or send someone the uh, the link where they can come in and listen because uh, uh, the idea is just to get as much information, good information like this to as many people as possible because you never know who it's going to help. Okay. Have a good one, folks. Have a great That's week. Great. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.